I don't think it's on, is it? It's on? Yeah. Well, then let me turn it off. The boys spent yesterday morning, some of it, fortifying this lane. So hopefully Aunt Flossie, oh, it is on. It's off. You guys did a good job on these lanes. Except for that one strand. They fortified it with four strands. We need to be able to grab one pole for every one of them. Just disconnect them all and move this. We have a problem here. This is hitting. I don't know how to go against that. Except this corner has to be turned. This corner will have to be turned more this way. That's the only thing I can think of. If you heard that baby, she'll go. Good. Good, let's see. Let's see, here's the test. She looked at it, but she didn't even try it. Oh, watch. Okay, good, good, let's take care of Phyllis. And then we'll come back, yeah. Look, it's let's let the calf get, test it. You might shut the gate back. They, they should stay in here, guys. You did a great job. Little girl shivering. Are you shivering with those big eyelashes? Huh? Well, Lily's gonna take care of you. She's wet and nervous. This is why she's shivering. Well, she wasn't shivering until we brought her in, so I think it's more nerves. Fall in love with me, baby. Fall in love with me, baby, now. For the cold of evening comes, moving the cards around. Fall in love with me, baby. Fall in Okay, Lily, you gonna stay here and pet the calf? Okay, Lily, you're gonna stay and pet the calf. We're gonna go do the small animals. We'll be back to milk. I don't think I'm gonna take you with me. It's raining. Okay, you guys ready to bring Flossie in? Yeah. Hey, let's dress that real quick though. We got uh, half a tablespoon of RC Gold, some Bragg's apple cider vinegar. We usually get it in five gallon buckets, but we're out. Okay, go ahead. Put it in, put it in, give her attention. Perfect. Hey, be careful. I don't want her to accidentally kick. See. It's like they poop to aggravate us. I'm still nervous. It's all get out. All right, you get the manure out, and then I'll sit down. Here, let's put her back leg back. There. She's, She's pooping again. Let's show them what we got, Lily. Yay! A little over a gallon again. You picking that up? Thank you very much. You gotta see Jonah and Bessie. <laughs> Jonah, that's one way to tame Aunt Nellie. You guys uh, are gonna milk, and I'll do some morning chores. I want you to see how a little bit of rain really accelerates the tilt job. I got a very special ingredient for soaking this feed today. Do you know what's been spilled into the top of this milk? It looks like it's, or it's dirt. It looks like it's just dirt. Oh wait, like whatever, oh it's wood. It's from the wood thing. All right, you got any ideas? I don't want to see the wood today. Here. Josiah, I put a lid on that last night. Do you know what happened to the lid? Nope, the lid went, the lid was your lid for your Oh, 
Lily must have grabbed it. Yes, she took it off. Lily grabbed the lid for the uh, box. But I feel like it was in there. And maybe I'm going to bring this back up to be washed and used as our skim milk bucket again. Sure, bring a lid with it. Hey, are you done milking? Do you know where my scoop is, Lily? You found it. Okay. Can't hurt chickens either. Oh my word, Jonah. Excellent job. Should we put the cap on? You try the teeth. No, okay. we still got more there that we can get, okay. but. Let's pull that away. Pull the bucket away so okay. I can get, wash my hands. Whoa, just in time. I just went in and take the milk from Phyllis, probably two gallons. Come out and the cows are out. What's going on? See why this is handy? Put it on. You only have to grab one pole and it grabs four strands. We had to let grandma and big daddy through. Oh, hey, watch yourself, watch yourself. This is who we don't want to get out. Come on, come on, hey. Come on, get her, let's get her going down the way. Look, garlic's coming up real nice. Come on. Oh, until Bear steps on it. Cut him up, cut him up that way. What got into him? He's feeling frisky this weather. Hey, he's going the wrong way, Jonah. I'm working on getting the American Farm Tour on Amazon. We have our nice thumbnail for it. Now we need a background image. It's optional, but I think it would be the finishing touch. I actually need to look for the original of this photo, which means I have to look. This is where I store all the vlogs. I've got one, two, three, four. Those are like five terabytes each, right, Rebecca? Yeah. We gotta pull out the archive, the very first G drive. All the way 2016, Great American, or no, the, the 100 Days of Growing Food. But we have five G drives. I do. You can't get to the outlet? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. What do I do for love of you guys? And this is our battery backup if the power goes out. We don't lose all our editing work. We've used it a number of times too, haven't we? It's been, been oh, a game changer. Yeah. All right. You know, when we took that picture, that was on top of Burwaller Mountain, July 4th, 2016. We were not taking a picture for the farm tour, were we? We just yeah. happened to take a great picture. But it happened to represent it perfect. There's one that looks like it. That's not nearly as good. Well, it might be because that one is... There it is, there it is, Becky. What we need to do is find out what size that is. Okay, no, I found that have a 16 by 9 crop. So there's a better way to do this. I'm just not techni technology advanced. So let's do a shift. Let's do a screenshot. It's not that. Okay, I'm gonna stand still. I'm gonna have to ask my art lady. That didn't take long. My, the, Amanda came through, Rebecca. That's great. The lady who does our graphic arts when we need it. And she came through within like an hour. Beautiful. All the images are uploaded, the Great American Farm Tour, all the, um, the trailer, the actual film, all we're on now is the caption and then writing of the descriptions. That should happen. The captions are supposed to be done by tomorrow. Okay, look what arrived. Remember yesterday, our Everflow water got flowed, got it uh, filled up. Well, this is a filter that goes on the end, that goes in the pond. I'm hoping it's the right deal. Oh, not anywhere close. Not anywhere close. This needs to be the size of a hose. But this would just be perfect. Maybe it would actually be too, too big. What I had was perfect. 
I have no idea what it was. This can probably be adapted down, but I don't know if I want to mess with that. That is definitely not it, and I think it's too big anyway, the inlet. So I think I found something on Tractor Supply. Ordered it, we're going to town for your doctor's appointment, finding out about your liver on Thursday. So I just had it, or liver and thyroid. Liver and oh, thyroid yeah. answers on Thursday. Yes. Like we're going to see Improved if going off both. supplements has helped your liver. Yeah. And, uh, and also okay. raising my thyroid medicine, if that was enough to raise my thyroid okay. levels. We're going to do that Thursday. We always make a big day out of town day. So well, we're picking up a we're, standard too. And feed. I got word from my captions guy. He says it takes him a little longer than he was thinking. So it's going to be Thursday or Friday. Okay, guys, the vet is here. We'll see if they want us to bring the cows in or if we're going to do this out in the field. And guys, that's him on the left. She's got to get within 30 feet of him to get him on the neck. Okay, guys, the vet is here. We'll see if they want us to bring in the cows or if we're going to do this out in the field. And guys, that's him up there in the left. She's got to get within 30 feet of him. Get him on the neck. I think he's nailed it. I think he's on it. There's a lot of that. He's labeling the people's names. It's great. So Thursday or Friday, I don't know what that means. I guess I'll have everything else done by Thursday and Friday. I don't know if it goes live then or you schedule it or what. We'll just cross that bridge when we get there. Okay, our cultured cream, home grown cultured cream. That means and long, long cultured, long fermented cream. Like we separated milk from cream, then long fermented it, put it in the dehydrator at 100 degrees for 24 hours. Now, this is from store-bought cream. <coughs> Keep that clear. Store-bought cream. Um, Phyllis's cream, already. Huge difference in color. This is much more yellow, much more yellow. Also, this, I don't know if you can tell there, this is a bit runny, okay? This, this is our raw, not so runny. Mm. And this is, to be fair, this is even cooler because it's been in the fridge longer. This has not been in the fridge that long and it's gonna get even more. It's gonna have the consistency of like, almost like soft sour cream. Taste. You're waving out on people. They love not getting it. Okay. Let's taste Phyllis. I'm full of milk stuff. Oh, good. Thank you for getting all the milk stuff, Lily. Ready? Y'all, that is our new sour cream. It had a bit of a yogurt flair to it. Yogurt, cream, sour cream. Ooh, uh. Cream cheese. Oh. Hey, you want to taste some? Okay. Well, we might need to get you a new spoon because you're kind of got a cough. Store bought cream. Yeah. So it's not raw. And it's not fresh. Ready? Ooh. It has a more tart, has a more tart feel. A little less creamy. I mean, honestly, maybe it's going to come down to different taste preferences. Somebody might actually like this one better than this one, but we like the we like that this is raw, that this is fresh, and it's A to A2, and it's consistency, like the more the not so runny. Yes, this makes it all worth it. You know, makes it all worth it, right, Mr. Brown? Uh huh.